public access. We'll be talking about some of this stuff. But um, so they have re- did a good job in restoring and releasing this movie. It was previously called The Unearthing. It was released on video as The Unearthing. And uh, was around for a long time under that title. Oh. But this DVD looks way better. Uh, much cleaner picture, has a bunch of extras. And, uh, and I'm even quoted on the front yes. under Night Crew Video, and that's pretty cool. Right there. Yeah. Second from the bottom. That's right. So when you pick this up, look for Night Crew Video in there. That's me saying mm-hmm. uh, how good this movie is. We're not so, lying. So what did you think about the ash line, Miss Mary? Oh, I really liked it. I have to say, even with, you know, the special effects were awesome. The concept was outrageous. It was ingenious. I would have to say, I would give it actually like an eight and a half. Wow. I was really entertained by it. Yeah, I, and I concur. I thought it had a, a lot of the same sort of energy the first Evil Dead had, mm-hmm. where once it really gets moving in the last third, it's just really kinetic and really scary with lots of lots of well-done violence and well-timed shocks. Yes. All the acting is superb all the way around. All the effects are very good. Um, I'm actually going to give it an, an eight and a half as well. Good. I um, totally agree on this one. So. Aswang from uh, Mondo Macabro video, or DVD rather. Check it out, and they got some other great titles too you should be on the lookout for. So so there we go, we agree. Aswang, good title. So. Yes. And you're sure you're not pregnant, Miss Mia? Hell no! <laughs> Hell no, 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 no. Sure. Mind if I take a look? Ah. Who is this irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for the dead? And my guilty pleasure for this week is... Ta-da! The Return of the Living Dead. Now, we've seen a lot of zombie movies out there, such as 28 Days Later, The Dawn of the Dead remake, which is absolutely fabulous, Resident Evil, and the abysmal ooh, House of the Dead, which I like to call Outhouse of the Dead. Um, the number was written and produced by Dan O'Bannon in 1985. And you also might recognize this guy from also doing another famous uh, screenplay called Alien, another film way ahead of its time. Now, everyone regards Scream as the first self-aware horror film where they would state the rules of the horror movie while living it out. Well, Return of the Living Dead did that over a decade earlier, first referencing the original Night of the Living Dead as sort of an origin tale for this film. And you'll see that in this clip. Did you see that movie, Night of the Living Dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one where the corpses start eating the pupil, right? Did you know that movie was based on a true case? Back in 1969 in Pittsburgh at the VA hospital, there was a chemical spill and all that stuff kind of leaked down into the morgue and it made all the dead bodies kind of jump around as though it was alive. And they told the guy who made the movie that if he told the true story, they'd just sue his ass off. So he changed all the facts. Now. By connecting the films and referencing Night of the Living Dead, they were going for a feeling that this was actually taking place in the real world. They even had a disclaimer that this film was based on a true story. Now, after they accidentally started reanimating the dead, the main characters, just like in Scream, started referencing the rules of the zombie films, only to find out that the rules aren't quite as they remember. Check this out. In that movie, they destroyed the brain to kill him. Is that what they did? The brain, right? What the hell's going on, Bert? The brain! The brain! I hit the fucking brain! I thought you said if we destroyed the brain, it'd die. It worked in the movie! Well, it ain't working now, Frank. You mean the movie line? Uh, Ooh, good stuff. And you've got some recognizable character actors in this film, such as Clue Gallagher, Don Kalfa, and James Karen. Now, the 
quality of the acting brought a sense of realism to the story, even as the level of mayhem escalates. As you'll see in this next clip, these are zombies unlike anything we've seen up until this time. about the return of the living dead. Number five, a new take on zombies. These bad boys are animated as Bert here described. You can't kill those mothers, they're already dead. You gotta understand they're not living creatures, they're animated. I mean, you can chop them up into pieces of pieces or still come after you. All you can do is just burn them. You gotta totally reduce them to ashes so there's nothing left to come after you. And that is a good question, Bert. How do you kill something that's already dead? Have to kill it. How do you kill something that's already dead? Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. It's not a bad question, Bert. Number four. This movie is actually a horror comedy. And no, not like Creep Show, which borders on parody. This comedy here comes purely out of the what the hell is going on reaction of the characters to the events. We see punk rockers, we see businessmen, we have preppies, and of course a virgin who are all thrown together under these crazy circumstances. Um, their interaction with each other and the situation creates many a laugh out loud situation. Intentional comedy in a horror movie, of course, sucks, as we all know. Humor that comes out of the situation works great as it did in this film. Number three. A fun and catchy punk rock soundtrack to match the punk character. Somehow the music fits the film and the going on. Even if you don't like punk rock, you'll like the soundtrack. Number two, a rare explanation for why the dead are eating the living, as you see in this zombie interrogation. Why do you eat people? Not people, brains. Why? The pain of being dead. Eating brains. How does that make you feel? It makes the pain go away. It does make me curious. How do you kill something that's already dead? Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. It's not a bad question. But... And the number one fun fact about Return of the Living Dead, 